So what I've done here is I've straightened out the three feet of included magnet wire. And I want to take about six inches of this magnet wire and I want to fold it back. So let me go ahead and measure that out real quick. Each square is a half inch, so I'm just going to go ahead and measure six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just bend this wire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Irwin Quick Grip because it's handy. So let me go ahead and open it up. And then I have my wire secured into the, into the vise. Now to make uh, twisting this, what you need to do is your first two wraps on this antenna are called your primary. And we want our primary to go around twice. And the magnetic wire needs to be twisted for that. So once you have this in your, in your vise, you can use anything for twisting. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this happy pencil that I have here that talks about true love. So I'm just going to slide that in and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to give it some twists. So here I have my twisted wire for the first two or primary windings. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put this into the toroid. Now I want these to be as tight and as close to the toroidal core as possible. And so what you can see here now is that I have two turns. Every pass through the center of the toroid is a turn. And now what I need to do for my secondary is 12 more windings. So I'll have a total of 14 windings, two on the primary, 12 on the secondary. When working with wire that is rigid like this, you want to be extremely careful. We are going to wrap seven windings and then we are going to cross on the eighth. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here I have seven windings, and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to do the eighth, which goes across and under. So let's do that now. Okay, so we've wrapped our toroidal core, and I want to move these around a little bit and make sure that my spacing is somewhat consistent. 
So we have our two primary turns, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six on the crossover, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. For a total of fourteen turns. Now this will get mounted to the frame like so. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean these up just a little bit. I want to be careful not to mark or damage the toroid when I do this. <laughs> 